Welcome into the latest edition of Extra. What are you whispering? He just, I can't believe the season started. <laughs> The champ started. <laughs> you realise the championship has started. <laughs> it started yesterday. So I haven't won yesterday. But then, I, then again, I can't believe the Community Shield starting tomorrow already. Well, you're here for it. I was trying to get you out of There you are, yeah. lovely. <laughs> I know. How long until Craig buys that t shirt? Uh, he'll have won next week. <laughs> yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. <laughs> don't tell him. I'm going to slowly start to wear more and more. Uh, Wait. Stuff for him to, hey, to suck him in. Yeah. Well, where'd you get? What shop do you get? It's cricketing. You get it, on, you get it yeah. online. Yeah. You get it on Amazon. I'm gonna see how far it goes. Uh-huh. And how are you, Shaq? What's going go. on? Nothing, Dan. Absolutely nothing. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> how are your boredom levels? High. Yeah. Very high. <laughs> Shaq. I can recommend a thing called YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't go down Stevie's YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. oh please, no, no, no. Uh, no. <laughs> if Kieran gets a chance to do a complete makeover of Stevie and Shaka, what will he recommend? Wow, I can't believe you're in the same category as Stevie, Shaq. That's not a good start. <laughs> That's not good, Shaq. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, what would you do to Stevie to help uh, them out, Kieran? Yeah. I'd probably trim his eyebrows down a bit. Right, yeah, they are some caterpillars. Yeah, they are. <laughs> 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 I did get them cut. They, they grow quick for some reason. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am aware yeah. of that. Yes, Thank exactly. you. Thank you, Dan. Two but slugs on there. We, we <laughs> trimmed them down a bit. Yeah, sort them out. But apart bit. from that, Stevie, I think you're in great nick. Oh, wow. Yeah, look not... at that. That's nice. I tend to agree. Oh, goodness oh, me. Shaka, you should have seen Kieran brushing his beard in makeup. <laughs> 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 what did he use? <laughs> Some brush they gave him. Ah. <laughs> he was taking it very seriously. A, a really small brush? I need, yeah, I need a really, really small brush. Yeah, it's a brush. <laughs> <laughs> Although Shaka, when he grows a beard, can't grow a beard either. So he has like big oh, patches that are missing. <laughs> no, that's and not true. It it's is a lot of grey. There's a lot and of grey in my beard. That's and then his wife I'm gets angry. That's Never all seen. he's trying to do is get the, rid of yeah, the greys. Yeah. Never seen Shaq try to grow. Yeah, do you not remember? No. Yeah, he went through a period of trying to grow it. Oh, did he? I think him and Craig did. Not, Craig. not trying oh, yeah. to grow it. I had a very, I had a very beardly beard. It was definitely uh, not a beardly beard. beard. <laughs> it was anything but. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, is there a highlight ah. of yourself that you still re-watch up to this day? Um... Is there a highlight? If there was any, it would probably be my favourite goal for Arsenal. Talk us through it. It was against Swansea in the FA Cup. Okay. And it was set up by Olivier Giroud. Yeah. Um, Stevie, you'd been proud of it, mate. I'm going to watch it on YouTube when I go home. There we go. There we are. <laughs> right, talk us through it more. <laughs> it was a one-two oh. over. Olivier flicked it over someone's head, yeah, and then I just put it put it in the top corner. Bolly. Classic Stevie Nichol style. Oh, lovely! Mm. Oh, very nice. Yeah. No, so, you, how often do you watch that back? Is it a daily uh, thing? No. With no. your breakfast? I haven't seen it for ages. Maybe you can pull it up instead of pulling up all of my howlers on the. Uh, uh, well, the, the howler, of course, was the one big miss that you had in the FA Cup final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open yeah, yeah. goals. Steve. Thanks. Well, Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Unlucky. <laughs> was it a, what, a, a Mason Mount special? <laughs> well, that was quite something today, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Here and connected with the ball, at least it just didn't. It just went over ah, out of Wembley. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Stevie, I can imagine you just we've all missed the, a few all your time. We've all missed a few. Uh, what, what moment do you rewatch on YouTube from yourself? I try not to. <laughs> I'd watch myself all the time if I had the success that you did. It'd be great. Do you know what? You know the thing I've watched most of? I don't know. I don't know if I know the answer to this. <laughs> that stupid Careful. haircut I got. The stupid haircut? Aye. What do you mean? I just can't believe I did it. <laughs> so every now and again when I'm bored, I go like that. You know what? Did I really do that? So of all of the great achievements you've had, all the big goals you've scored, you go back and look at your haircut that you had. Yeah. So, so basically, <laughs> do you want to tell the story to Kieran? Because he wouldn't know it. It was supposed to be a photo shoot here. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's why I did it. Right. It was supposed to be a photo shoot here <laughs> yeah. of all of us. Yeah. And I didn't know it had been cancelled, and I couldn't get in touch with the girl that normally cuts my hair. But I needed cut. Mm-hmm. So I went into just any old place, and the guy said, "What do you want?" I said, "I'll have a th- three on the 
three on the shade <laughs> and a five on the top. <laughs> but I take me took my glasses off. That was a three and two. Was, was it a three and a three two? Three and a two, yes, yeah. <laughs> so he did the sides first, right? Because I had my glasses off, can't see properly. So he did the sides first, so it kind of looked all right. Yeah. But then he went like that, right up the middle. <laughs> and, I went, and all of a sudden I went like that. Hold on a minute. You've got a picture, look. look. <laughs> oh no, I'm looking at your goal yeah, now. Oh, oh, it's a nice volley. Look at this, Stevie. Go on then. Here we go. A little bit of a miss kick, was it? Is it a shin to win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There we go. A complete this, shank. This is good television for everybody. Oh, oh that's a great that's goal. That's a lovely <laughs> finish, Kieran. That's a great goal. You know, what's the celebration? You look whoa, just angry. Kicking the corner flag, just anger, Kieran. He's kicking the corner flag. <laughs> no, he? it's just like... I did a crowd dive, though. A what? Crowd dive. He went into the crowd. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> OK, right, where are we going here? Shaka, what do you rewatch? That's the save against Zlatan? No, I I, I don't watch anything. Oh. I, 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 I haven't watched any World well, especially World Cup, I haven't watched that over at all. I voted as best I can. <laughs> oh. I was, for some reason, I saw Gerard go in the cup I final recently. Oh, no. I Why'd you bring that up? Uh, but it's just, uh, the, fun, oh, no. the funny thing is, right, is that Shaka ends up facing the other way, right, because right. he follows it in. And he's got this look on his face of... What happened there? Did I miss something? Fat for the ball. Uh, yeah. hey. Right, Stephen. That's, that's about right. That's this, about right. This is for you, Stephen. Why is Manchester United overlooked when it comes to being title challengers? They have a great blend of experience and youth in their team. They have that's a, top, a window. No, they have a top three defence and top three midfield in the Prem. One of the best attackers in the world in Rashford, and now they have a striker. Well, that's a very positive Manchester United fan. Well, yes. Well, it needs some positive. <laughs> your anti-United ways. Does anybody seriously think Man United are going to compete for the Premier League? This person thinks they do. Man United are competing to be in the top four this year. OK. Well, are, they, are they in your top four? No. No, not even there. No, I think they're going to be. I think they'll be fifth. Right. Behind Newcastle and Liverpool. Behind Newcastle, Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester City. There you go. You know, they, don't, they still don't have a centre forward. They might have, scored, they might have signed a guy who's called a centre forward, but he's, he's no... He's no Cole or Van Persie or... Right. I mean, you're not... You're not guaranteed. You need, you need guaranteed goals to compete for the Premier League title. Title contender? Title contenders for United? No, 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 no. Oh. not this year. Not no. this um, What was the coolest gift you ever received from a fan? Did you ever do anything really special for a fan? Wow. Kieran, did you get any nice gifts? Um. Why are you smiling? No, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I've got a sweater on in Norway. Did you? Yeah. Oh, yes, a, a lady knitted me a, a sweater. What uh, was on it? In, uh, in Asia. In Asia. Well, you have to finish this really... story, story yet, Karen. Sorry, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Get in your way. Have you still got it? Wear it tomorrow. I doubt oh, it will fit. It. I doubt it will fit to these things. Excuse me. <laughs> How dare you? What was it? Did it have like a picture of you on? No, it was actually. I can't, I'm trying to remember that the, there's a name to it. It's it's a particular type of jersey that Norwegians make. They, like they knit it. An Aaron? No. That's an Aaron sweater. That's Scottish. I know, but well, I don't know. It's something like that. Okay. So yeah, no, it was really nice. Right. Okay. Nice. Asia. Yeah, Asia used to get make some cool little presents for the team when we used to go on tour there. Ah. Just like little artifacts and boxes of little gifts and stuff. Oh, nice. Their attention to detail was really cool. And have you got really any cool. of those presents? Have I still got them? Yeah. I probably have actually in my, in my mum's loft somewhere. Oh, beautiful. Shaka, yeah. what about you? Yeah. One, <laughs> one year, Newcastle went to... When we went to Brunei and everybody got these really expensive watches, but I was injured, so I didn't oh, go. Oh no, Lucky me. Shank! <laughs> yeah. Dropped yeah, it anyway. I'm, I'm, but I'm not. I'm not bitter at all. No, I'm not bitter clearly. At all. Clearly, <laughs> Shank. For Shaka, do you rate Robert Sanchez above Kepa? Um, yes, I do. Listen, I, I think Ke uh, Kepa has been the comeback story of 
forever, in all honesty. I, I thought he was done. I thought he came back and, and had a decent showing of, of himself last season. But I, I, I feel Sanchez is, 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 a, is a more equipped goalkeeper, good with his feet. Um, and, and I'm as, as good as, as, as much of a comeback as Kepa made. I still don't think he's the kind of goalkeeper you need if you if you want to be contending for the title. I, I, I just don't I just I just don't think he's there. Who's the best goalkeeper Again. you ever played with? Ben Foster. Oh, he's the one who shouted at you as well. Yeah. I have a love hate relationship. Yeah. I'm, I mean, Petr Cech. Hmm? Petr Cech as well. Oh yeah. I forgot about him. Oh. But yeah, he was top. How do clubs go about approaching their transfers? Do they first prefer agreeing a contract with the player first, or do they deal with the club first? What does this depend on? So, how did your transfer to West Brom happen? What happens? Um, it goes. It, I think it can go both ways. I think sometimes, you know, sneakily, clubs can agree personal terms with players, right. and then once they've agreed personal terms, they can go to the club. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't work that way for me at West Brom. It was it was club to club first, and yep. then uh, and then it was more about sorting uh, personals after. What personals did you put in? Did you throw in any? Every, any you must have got a call. <laughs> you must have got a call from somebody going, "Hello, this is so and so. <laughs> uh, would you be interested?" What first? Yeah. No, I didn't for West Brom. I did for I did before West Brom because I was uh, linked with another club, and that was. Personal terms agreed first, and then after. Oh, I don't mean that. I'm talking about a, a friend of a friend, just before anything's even done, to make sure that you, you're not wasting your MD's time. Oh, right, yeah. You know I mean? Well, Is maybe it... for the club. Everybody does that. Well, maybe you didn't. Maybe it's honest. I find it very difficult to believe. Wow. It wasn't a call made from a friend of a friend whose friend. I'm calling for a friend of a friend, by the way, who wants to know if you're interested. And if you say no, then it's, that, it's, it's pretty much. You, then you don't go through all this. Well, they agreed terms, and then you did this and did that. Stevie. <laughs> Stevie once revealed that he cannot move his neck because of a mistreated injury in the 90s. Did the guys have times where team doctors got it wrong? Shaq, did you have anything like that? Um, when I first joined Newcastle, I tore a thigh muscle. Um, and it's not that the doctors got it wrong, but I was out for six weeks, and it turned out blood got trapped in, 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 in the tear, Ooh. so I just I couldn't get fit. And then by the time they realized and, and did an x-ray on it, they put a needle in there, drew the blood out, no. and honestly, <laughs> After after being out for six weeks, I was I was back fitting four to five days after that. Blimey. Um, I've been misdiagnosed yeah. a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's you know, doctors aren't always gonna get it right. Not even the best. Stevie broke his jaw once and they gave and him they... a sponge. <laughs> yeah. Magic spray. I got hit in the face with a sponge, a wet sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Stevie, man. Did you go to see the club doctor once and he poured a whiskey for himself? <coughs> that was... <laughs> that was... I played for Scotland against Cyprus yeah. on, the, on the Wednesday in a World Cup qualifier. And before the game, I had this feeling right, right across my heart, right? And I couldn't run properly. And I thought, start the game, anyway. I had to come off after 10 minutes. Killing me, right? So I got back. And there was no games. We didn't have a game that weekend. We were going to Dundee for a testimonial game. And we were leaving on the Friday. So I got back in Friday. I spoke to Kenny on the, on the Thursday when I got back. He said, look, I've got this, blah, blah, blah. He goes, well, we'll go and see the doc before we travel down to Dundee. So the doctor lived around the corner of the Anfield. So I go in. Now, by this stage, the doctor had retired <laughs> from practice, right? <laughs> And by this stage, he looked. I think he was about 80. <laughs> so we go in the house, and he's got his <laughs> he's got his pajamas and his house coat on, right? And he's like, ah, oh, yeah. So it's like half nine in the morning. Bus is leaving at like ten. So we go in. There's me and, and Ronnie Moran and Roy Evans. We're going to his house, and he goes, oh, this is the problem. And I'll go, well, I had this, and I explain, you know, and I was doing this. And as I finished talking, he turned down to Roy, Roy, and and, and Ronnie went. Can interest you in another? 
Can I interest you in a little... Uh... And they were like, oh, no, no. <laughs> no it's only half nine in the morning. <laughs> anyway, he put his stethoscope on, went like that. Ah, you're fine. That was it. You may go. Off you go. That was, that was it. it. <laughs> I, could have, I could have dropped dead <laughs> walking out his front door. Was it someone forgot to plug in the ultrasound machine? Was that with you? Oh, it's Bob Paisley. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Paisley. Well, again, <laughs> before the, well, all the all the coaches were physios as well. Yeah. No qualifications. No. None. <laughs> if, there, if there was anything other than somebody got a, a bang, then they just took you to the hospital. So Bob Paisley, when he was the coach, he was given treatment. You know the ultrasound machine. You know the, 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 the yeah, old one. Yeah, yeah. So Bob's sitting doing this like that, right? No. And I can't remember the player, but he sat there like that. And not me, you can feel the heat of it. Right. And there was nothing, right? So after about 15 minutes, whoever it was went, oh, shit, I can't feel anything. <laughs> Bob went like that. Bob went like that. And he went, oh, shit, I'm not, I'm not turning the plug off. <laughs> and he went over and turned on the plug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get that now, Steve, do we? Oh, oh, hey. hey, I've told you about the wax bath. That was the worst ever. The wax bath? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if you had any sort of... Oh, ang- yes, you did. He needs to write a book. If you have any sort of... <laughs> you mean you don't have it? If, if you had any sort of ankle injury, the first port of call was the wax bath. It was like a 1,000 degrees, and you had to get your foot in as quickly as possible so that it encompassed the whole thing. Although, otherwise... It would just, it would burn you to death. <laughs> now, the other, the other thing about it was, you didn't move your toes. Because it would, because the wax would crack and then all boiling wax would go back in. Oh my it's God. It's got to be a wind up. It's got to be. Seriously. <laughs> oh my God. We've got to get me. Stevie's written a book. Yeah, but is it like just on his injuries? No, no, we are, no there's a lot of different things. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Some interesting, interesting tales of when Stevie yeah. went to London as a child. Yeah. Okay, right, where are we? Uh, when you guys came to play in the US, were you surprised by how many clubs played on turf instead of natural grass, Kieran? Thoughts on playing on turf. There's two questions. I was reading the. I was reading the second part. I purposely didn't read the second one. I read the first one okay. first. Um, <laughs> not surprised because of the weather conditions. There's this, like you can't you can't play on grass in uh, in some of these cities. It's just way too. Why is that? What do you mean <laughs> why? Why is that? The weather's the, the weather's not good well, enough. It's worse to play on turf when it's warm than it is grass. Wait, what, what are you talking about here? Turf and grass. Tough. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't play on, you can't play on, sorry, you can't play on grass in, in these conditions. In oh, some what conditions? Cities. What conditions? In, in the cold cities when it gets too, you can't like, you can't play in, uh, where do they have oh, it? I thought, you, I thought you were talking about the heat. I beg your pardon. No. Sorry. I'm talking. But you can't play in, you can't play in Columbus anyway in January because it's zero degrees. Yeah, I know. No, it's uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. But I, no, no players like playing on turf. No. Uh, what about this for a question, That's Kieran? True. Who was better in their prime? Ashley Cole, Patrice Evra, Philip Lamb. Ooh. I would say. I would say Philip Lahm. Mm. Oh. I would say Philip Lahm. Really? And who, yeah, who would be second? Yeah, because that Bayern team was just so strong. Uh, and then I would go Ashley Cole. Right. And then Patrice. Stevie? That's a difficult one, though. I, I thought he was going to say Ashley. Mm. I, I, I would have... You don't like Ashley Cole? I would have said Ashley. Yeah, I love you, Ashley. You don't go on with him? Yeah, 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 I do. I do. I just think Philip, like... Philip during his his prime. <laughs> Philip. Uh, Philip, do you know him as well? Philip. All right, Philip. <laughs> Lovely to see you, sir. <laughs> oh God, Philip Lahm. <laughs> what we call it? <sighs> was uh, he was phenomenal. I just uh, I loved oh, watching him yeah, play. Philip was good, wasn't he? Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, Phil. He was great. Yeah. For Shaka, who do you think will be the surprise package this season in your power rankings? Ooh. Have you experienced Shaka's power Aston rankings Villa. before? No, I haven't. They're nonsense. No. So it's like top ten teams every week. I agree. Can you make head or tail? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So you blanked it out. Can you make head or tail? There it is. Yeah. What's on those post-it notes, Shaq? It works. 
Ah, what's on the brownie steak notes? Just my, my, my crepe notes, my notes going into this season. Yeah. Just little things that I have to consider. Hey, Shaq, now you're homebound. You might Villa, actually have to Aston do Aston your power rankings. Be... You might have to do your power rankings properly now you're homebound. Yeah. No, I, I need to get out of here, man. I, I'm not even allowed to drive. Oh, so wow. when I'm home, when I say I'm homebound, I am homebound. Wow. Wow. Well. Come back, Shaq, because yeah. these lot are annoying me. Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it, Kieran? Not like Philip. <laughs> 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 uh, did, you, did you answer the question? What was the question? I forget. Aston Villa. Aston a Villa's merch surprise package. Aston Villa surprise mm. package. Yeah, but it's not a surprise because everybody's saying yes. Aston Villa. Oh, everyone says it's not a surprise, says Stevie Shaq. Um, Bar Leverkusen. Oh, <laughs> now you're just saying names. Uh. <laughs> No, you're just being ridiculous. No. What, what, what have you been impressed by Leverkusen? That's Jack? why you're stuck in the house. <laughs> no, well, since Xavier Alonso took over, they've been they've been good. They had a <laughs> rough time to back end of the season, but oh. once he took over, they they once went you, on an incredible run. Iron squeaky. <laughs> Because I'm homebound. <laughs> oh, there was a second part <laughs> of the question. Are we expecting into Miami a lot now that you consider LM plus ten equals the goat? <laughs> we'll see. Oh, yeah. It's been a good start to, to Miami. It's yeah. been a good start, but let's let's let us let us see. Let's oh. see. If they win the league's cup, will there be a bus parade? There should be. There you are. You'll be on that, that bus. That would be a good yeah, I'll sneak on there. Yeah, exactly. Sneak on there with your oh, mates. Well. You fly over, Stevie. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Stevie doesn't like flying. Oh no. He doesn't yeah. like it no one sings any songs on the planes anymore. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.